It's the morning drive on Road Food Review, and today I'm at Duncan, where I'm trying their new empanada. So ordering was easy, pulled up to the menu, placed the order, pulled up to the window, paid, got our food and drinks. My wife is with me today. She may add commentary, but does not want to be in this video. Um, now, total time was seven and a half minutes, and there were three cars in front of us. Now they did have to remake a drink because there was a problem with uh, my wife's drink um, and so we actually got a, a different drink altogether than what she ordered. So uh, we'll go through the total cost. We also got the banana chocolate chip bread that was three dollars and twenty nine cents. Um, a medium chai latte for $4.49 a medium caramel latte that was $4.79 so those prices seem pretty normal um, and then the two empanadas and that would be looks like $4.49 for each empanada um, so the total cost $23.30 so um, the empanadas seem a little high but probably close to the price point of what Taco Bell charged for their Crispinata. So a little different, but um, price point is about the same. So I'll give you a look here at this. And it's actually um, kind of splitting on the top. So it is like a pastry or bread or whatever the heck it's. And um, the edge is not pinched. Um, there's no, you know, you can actually lift this up and look on the inside. Uh, there's scrambled eggs, sausage, and cheese inside of this empanada. So, I'll give it a try here. Hmm. Almost made a mess. Now the sausage and eggs do taste good, um, but the um, the bread there's there's they're breading bread. I don't know what to call this pastry crust, whatever it is. There's too much of it, and so I think that kind of overpowers the rest of this item you know you can go ahead and grab this again not bad um, and unlike Taco Bell's crispinata. <laughs> you can actually bite through this without busting your dang teeth, you know? The the outer coating almost tastes like a buttery pie crust. So I think you're right with pastry. Yeah. But it's very buttery. And it's a lot of it. Like, I think that just overpowers the filling you know the egg and the sausage and cheese it's just you taste a lot of that bread and not so much of the rest of it i completely agree i've had two bites so far i can see that i've had egg and sausage and i haven't tasted any egg or sausage yet. right <clears throat> right So again, here's another, you know, um, item where the concept is a is a good concept, but the execution was lacking.
I think you need that much of the pastry outer to hold it together as evidenced by the fact that yours was falling apart mm -hmm. but they've taken shortcuts by not truly filling it right right now also I got a caramel latte and I do prefer Starbucks I will tell you that right now um, so we'll see <laughs> and I think like other coffee shops compared to Starbucks um, just too much sugar in this drink um, it's not bad and if you like Duncan, I mean, that's going to be something that you're going to be used to. Um, it's just not my preference for this kind of drink. And, and for a medium, I mean, this doesn't look that big for a medium. So maybe I'm just used to other places. It's more like a Starbucks small. Mm-hmm. It really is. It really is. Now, the drink that you ended up with initially was the chai tea. And I'll show you. So, I'll actually compare these because... So, this is my medium, right? And then this is the hot chocolate that they ended up giving you. And this is a large. And this actually feels like a medium to me. So, um, so... You know, I guess maybe Duncan is going with a little, little smaller cup sizes. Um, you know, everybody's cutting back somewhere or increasing prices, um, you know, just to make a little bit more money. And so maybe that's what they've done. I don't know. I'm not a regular Duncan connoisseur, um, but I just feel like this is a small and not a medium. Maybe Arby's spoiled me. Because Arby's, you get a medium and it's like freaking 50 ounces of, you know, soda. So, that could be. But it just seems small for, for what you're paying and, and what you're getting. Now, this go back to this empanada. chocolate chip bread so that's new as well um, available for a limited time comes pre-packaged that's a little disconcerting mm -hmm. 330 calories for one little slice of bread that fits in the home of my hand right and so for the price kind of outrageous to pay you know, you could go to the store and buy a loaf of bread for that, you know. And if you made banana bread yourself, I mean, what's a bunch of bananas cost, you know, 49 cents a pound. So, um, yeah, not a good price on that. But, I mean, that's how all these fast food places, you know, and Duncan is no different than any of these other fast food places. Prices are going up, you know. They're. I feel like they're all pushing that limit as how much can they gouge the consumer before the consumer just quits going um, McDonald's is a prime example um, I was recently at a Wendy's and that video will come out later um, but that again prime example um, prices are just getting outrageous and consumers just have to stop buying to make a real change and a real difference because I mean you can go to Applebee's or you can go to a, a chain restaurant and you know sit down and get better food for the same price um, you know and hell if you cook at home you'd save 
tons of money by going that route, you know, learning how to cook these things or whatever. Um, I mean, you're just going to save so much more money than coming out here and, and, and doing this convenience food, you know, this fast food. Um, it's just not worth what they're charging. And then, of course, there's the, the health implications as well. You know, if you make something at home, you know what's in it. You know your ingredients. You know if you're making it healthy or if you're putting too much preservatives, butter, whatever. You know, I mean, you have those options if you're making your own food versus coming out and buying pre-packaged, pre-made, pre-assembled, you know, where you don't have those options. So, anyway, that's my rant on that. <laughs> I feel like that was a shameless plug for our other channel. Mm, yes. And maybe we should make some banana chocolate chip bread next week for our other channel. Yes. Um, my wife and I do have another channel and I will put a little, um, I guess a screenshot of our other channel. It's called At Home with Jonathan and Mary. So, um, not an intentional plug. Um, <laughs> just a rant that, yeah, I mean, maybe we should just, you know, show people how to how to make things so um, so if you want to check that out I'll throw that in here so we're sharing the banana chocolate chip bread and my perception of it you can try it here when you're done with that but my perception is that it is dry mm. banana bread is supposed to be moist and really the banana bread that I make is always moist it's got a very pronounced banana flavor to it um, maybe my test buds are off, but I don't really taste the banana, and this tastes dry. So, I'll give you the rest of that, and you give that a go. Alright. <clears throat> Speaking of dry. Alright, so I will give this, and it's a chocolate chip banana bread, and so, I mean, it looks, it looks good, you know. Yeah, there's not much banana flavor in there at all. Tastes dry to you? Hmm. Not dry, just not flavorful. Hey, you can taste the chocolate. Mm hmm. Yeah. And for $4.49, not worth it at all. No, I mean, granted, we shared it, but. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. Um, and then the empanadas. I mean, too much dough, pastry, whatever you want to call it. Too much of that taste, and not enough filling. Um, kind of the same with the crispinata from Taco Bell. Um, just not. Actually, that had more filling. That had more filling. You just had that pinched edge. That was too much. Yeah. yeah. Too much of a pinched edge. Too much crust that was hard to bite. But through. it was very full. Mm hmm. Yeah. The inside of it was very full. And it didn't fall apart, break apart, make a mess. You know, it was. It, it, it wasn't too bad. And plus the spicy ranch was good too on that on that Taco Bell one. And so. you know, if you compare the idea of the two fillings, so Taco Bell it's chicken mm -hmm. and Duncan it's the eggs. Eggs are a much less expensive ingredient. True. And so that's a place where they could have put more in. More egg would have gone a long way with this. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Alright, and then the other thing that I'll say about this is it's not very filling. 
at all. Um, so if you're looking for something for breakfast to get you going, get you started, you know, um, that's not going to do it. You know, I would much rather go get something a little more substantial and, and filling and, you know, it just, it didn't do it for me at all. It's like I ate that and it's like I feel like I didn't even eat anything. Um, there was just no substance. There was no substance at all. So, disappointing. So that is my take on the empanada from Duncan. Um, just kind of disappointing. Not worth the money. And uh, it would be a pass for me. How about you? Yeah, it's a pass. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.